Hey interlopers, welcome back to my channel. As always, your host, Destroy Yesterday here, with uh, new and upcoming videos for the game of No Man's Sky to help you out. Um, today is going to be part three of the series um, with tips and tricks for beginners on how to survive. Um, namely, when you visit a hazardous planet. Um, that is what I'm going to focus on today. Um, first, I do want to let you know this video will contain a small spoiler. Um, uh, but uh, it shouldn't ruin your experience for the game. Um, so be aware of that. Um, first, before you visit a hazardous planet, be aware of what of why it's hazardous. So for instance, when you scan it, it will tell you what is on it. So for instance, like uh, fungal mold. Um, so knowing that is important because when you look at your exosuit, you can install certain technology. For instance, right here. Um, toxin suppressor, heat suppressor, um, radiation suppressor, and a cool and a thermic suppressor um, protection units. Now, knowing which ones those apply to can be important if you want to install them on your exosuit. I have one for this because I visit cold planets frequently. Um, but the fungal mold is going to be green, so obviously makes sense fungal. Mold is the green one, so toxic. This one with this symbol is going to be the one that you're going to need if you land there, if you want it. You don't have to use them, um, but that's a helpful. <clears throat> if there is gamma weed or gamma root on the planet, it is going to be radiation. Um, that's the hazard on there. And if it is selenium or cact sometimes cactus flesh, it is going to be the fire or super, super hot one. Um, occasionally you will run across a planet that is barren. Sometimes that will need the cold one, just because of the low atmosphere. Um, for instance, I'll show you. I have one in this system. <laughs> right here. The barren. So depending on what it's like, you might need the cold hazard protection, you might not. And then obviously, of course, if it says there's skyward on the planet, that means it's going to be cold. Um, so keep that in mind. If you that can help you survive longer and stay on your feet on the planet longer um, as that protects you all right so let's go to this planet I'm gonna show you some tips and tips and tricks on how to uh, make visiting a hazardous planet and surviving on it easier and more worth your while um, because in the beginning of the game you will need to visit these more frequently um, as you get farther into the game they won't need to um, just because you'll have the resources that exist on the planet as compared to um, other instances <clears throat> all right so as we're here before i get out a couple things as well i want to uh mention it's important when you get before you get out that you make sure you have room in your exosuit to collect elements so i have plenty of room no need for me to worry um you do not want to end up going out there realizing you have two slots and having to change your inventory in the middle of the elements. Um, this causes your um, protection to go down um, without you even being useful on the planet. So make sure you have room before you get out of your ship to collect stuff. Um, also, um, be aware that as you go about the, the hazardous planet, make sure you uh, are scanning flora and fauna. You can make money while you're here. Make sure you make your visit to a hazardous planet worthwhile. Um, don't just come here, land, collect, I don't know, 50 plutonium and leave. Um, you need to, as a, as a beginner, as you, if you're just starting, you need to make sure your visit to every planet is worth it. Um, so what I mean by this <coughs> is making sure you get elements consistently um, and making sure when you visit this hazardous planet, you make sure and get purple elements, so you meet the rare ones that are only for that planet, iron, thamium, and plutonium. Make sure you are always continually picking those up when you visit a hazardous planet, or any planet really for that matter. Um, that will help come into handy. Um, Alright, let's get out of here. Um, so you can scan. So you'll see down there at the left there, there's two things now. I'm sure many of you are familiar with it. 
Um, one's my hazardous protection and one's my uh, health, my life support. <clears throat> All right. Now, if you hold L2 for your visor, you will see here at the bottom left, I can't move it to show you, but just right above those the plutonium symbols, you will see how long it takes before I'm at critical exposure. I got 6 minutes and 20, 25 seconds until I'm critical. Now, obviously, that can change if you charge it. Um, there is this thing called the quick charge menu with the down D-pad on the PS4, and you can charge anything. Particularly these two will be helpful. Make sure you have Thamium to charge your life support and a um, yellow um, element to charge this, namely zinc, titanium. is the only one with a charge hazard. Iron does not charge it. Um, so be aware of that. That can help you out. <clears throat> um, when you're on a hazardous planet, scan consistently so you can constantly be collecting stuff as you're here. Make use of it before your uh, hazard needs to be charged. If you have enough to charge it, or it runs out and you need to get in your suit. Or not your suit, your ship. Alright. Um, also, speaking of which, here's a drop pod. Feel free to make use of these things like this on hazardous planets. Because you will not be visiting them very often, eventually, as well. So by getting to these things, you can make use of your exosuit to make it bigger. Now, I would recommend you maxing out your exosuit pretty quickly and soon into the game. Just because that'll help you um, be able to be on your feet more. I'm going to quickly get this just because that'll help me survive as well. Um, so, with that, um, I guess I'll just show you real quick here. There is these new separate spots for exosuit. General can fit anything in the general. Cargo can fit 500 as you see here of any um, element and five of a resource. Those are helpful. Those are worth 50,000 each and they go up um, uh, consistently. I can't remember the word. Um, exponentially, that's what I was looking for. Technology blueprint or technology slots are only worth a thousand. Those go up, you know, one, two thousand, then three thousand, then four thousand like that. So, make sure you choose wisely on which ones you want to buy there. Um, next, make sure in order to survive, I just did it, but remember that the inventory slot, this, does not pause time. So, your hazard protection is going down as you look at this. Now, the pause menu, namely right, like rightly so, pauses the game. It does, it stops time. So, that can come into handy too. Um, another thing too, if you scan a rock formation, it will tell you a second element that is in it. So you look here on the left, it'll say iron and aluminum. Now when you mine every iron thing, it will give you the iron and the aluminum. Whereas before, if you just mine it without scanning it, it'll just give you iron. So that can be extremely helpful. Um, next is you have the ability now to summon your ship, like I mentioned in part one of my series, and if you need protection, you can also look around for um, caves, as they will protect you from the elements as well. Um, it's also important that you collect elements a lot and know what they look like and where they are located. So, see, without even scanning, I know right here this is Thamium. So, that can come in handy when you know what things look like. Alright? So you can know where to go. Um, at the moment, I don't see any... Oh, yeah, it's just a good teaching off instance. Killing Sentinels will give you Zinc and Titanium in order to charge your hazardous protection. Um... So that can come in really handy as well if you're running out and you don't see any zinc, just shoot a sentinel. Now be aware that if your gun isn't as powerful as mine, as you just saw there where I destroyed him in like half a second, um, be careful. But just know it does give you quite a bit of zinc or titanium when you kill them. Um, make sure you're uploading your discoveries consistently. So if you look here, 
That'll give me units to scan that. And then when I go here and go to Flora, I will then get money again. So what's important too to survive is that you are making money consistently because you will need money um, as you begin this game in order to progress. <clears throat> um, you can summon your vehicle anywhere um, if you need to get out fast. Remember, like I said, you can get your ship. You can summon your freighter as well if you have one if you're at that point. And if you happen to make, you can make vehicles, exocraft on any planet as long as you have the correct resources um, which can help in obviously exploring the hazardous planet now I don't do that simply because it requires lots to make um, a geo bay so if we look here so you need quite a bit um, but tight cells are annoying to come by because of the um, bulb marrow Dys dynamic resonators are a lot of money too so I usually don't do that just because takes a lot um, but you can do that and if you do delete it you do get ha <coughs> half the amount of resources back since it's not on your base <coughs> um, so that is important too you can do that another thing is make sure you save consistently so if you've been out running roaming a hazardous planet for a while make sure you uh, summon your ship and get in and out of it so it saves or find a waypoint as well that will also save it um, another thing, <coughs> we're reaching the end here. Uh, if you visit an, an area that has a landing pad, like a building per se, make sure you make use of that. Because when you take off like this, it will use plutonium. So you don't want to keep just flying every place landing fly land fly land because that'll use a lot of plutonium now it is available a lot more now since this update but still you still want to be careful what you use just because everything everything matters in, in this game <clears throat> um, coming to the end here I think we're just about there uh, I mentioned uploading your discoveries make sure you do that um, build signal boosters as well to help you if you want to get to a certain area quicker. This is what they look like. You can pick uh, drop pods or buildings or anything um, if you want to look for something in specific while you're here. Um, also, make it important to learn the language as well. Surviving will really help you with that when it comes to puzzles and what the aliens say so you can make the correct choice and get a bigger reward when they ask you a question. Um, as it will appear in English rather than their gibberish. Um, <clears throat> lastly, of this video, um, make sure you use the things I taught you in mining and um, exploration, you know, the R1X jump, so you can get places faster while you're exploring these areas that are hazard to you. Um, and finally, do the, uh, the Atlas missions. <clears throat> now, spoiler alert, when you finish the Atlas mission, at least the first part of it, it will give you the ability to um, locate black holes. So if you need to jump through a uh, system quick, you jump through that. Be aware though that it does break some of your ship. You will need to repair it when you get out. Um, <clears throat> but that can be, um, that can help. <clears throat> Um, and then finally, I know I've mentioned this before, but it's extremely important that you make sure you make use visiting a hazardous, hazardous planet. Get everything that you can, especially when you start, so that you can leave it feeling confident that you made use of visiting this planet. Um, so I think though, with all about that, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions or other things for surviving, um, make sure you just comment um, also I just remember excuse me the last thing um, what happens when you die <coughs> um, when you die it will reload and it will put you in the nearest save point that you just had um, but you will not have any of your inventory 
you will have to go back and get it whether that's in space or on the planet it'll appear as a little atlas um, symbol you just run over and jump into it and it'll give you all of your inventory back that is only though if you're playing on survival or normal mode <clears throat> or creative um, permadeath obviously if you die it's over so be aware of that um, but now now that's it so if you guys have any questions comment um, like this video thanks for watching guys take care